Hey Lagonia Lions, the story I have for you today is called The Hungry Thing. And this is an older story, but it's a really good story with a ton of rhyming words. So I want you to listen and see if you can hear the words that rhyme and maybe you can help feed the hungry thing. The story is by Jan Slepian and Ann Seidler. The Hungry Thing. One morning, a hungry thing came to town. He sat on his tail. He pointed to a sign around his neck that said, feed me. The townspeople gathered around to see the hungry thing. What would you like to eat? Asked the townspeople. Schmancakes, answered the hungry thing. Schmancakes, cried the, the townspeople. How do you eat them? What could they be? Why, dear me, said a wise man, schmancakes, that's plain, are a small kind of chicken that falls with the rain. Of course, said a cook, schmancakes, I've read, are better to eat when you stand on your head. I think, said a little boy, you're all very silly. Schmancakes sounds like fancakes sound like pancakes to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up. Then the hungry thing pointed to his sign that said, feed me. What would you like to eat? Asked the townspeople. Tickles, answered the hungry thing. Tickles, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Why, dear me, said the wise man. Tickles, you know, are curly tailed hot dogs that grow in a row. Of course, said the cook. Tickles taste yummy. And you giggle and laugh with ten in your tummy. I think, said the little boy, it's all very clear. Tickles sound like sickles sound like pickles to me. And they gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up. He's underfed. Have some bread, said a lady dressed in red. It seems to me he'd like some tea, said a fellow up a tree. A bit of rice might be nice, said a baby sucking ice. The hungry thing just shook his head and pointed to his sign that said, feed me. The townspeople tried again. What would you like to eat? Asked the townspeople. Feet loaf, answered the hungry thing. Feet loaf, cried the townspeople. How do you eat it? What can it be? Why, dear me, said the wise man. Feet loaf, let's see. It's a kind of shoe pudding that grows in a tree. Of course, said the cook. Feet loaf tastes sweet. And it's eaten by kings when they dine in bare feet. I think said the little boy, you all ought to know. Feet loaf sounds like beet loaf, sounds like meat loaf to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate it all up. He again pointed to his sign that said, feed me. What would you like to eat this time? Asked the townspeople. Hookies, answered the hungry thing. Hookies, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Hookies, said the wise man, are known in far lands as a special spaghetti to eat holding hands. Hookies, said the cook, are a party dish to serve to a guest if he isn't a fish. I think, said the little boy, that it's all very simple. Hookies sound like lookies sound like cookies to me. And the townspeople gave the hungry thing some, and he ate them all up. Then he got to his feet. He smiled. He patted his mouth on a line of laundry and turned around three times. Is it true? He's all through, asked a lady dressed in blue. Let's all try to say goodbye, said a man with a can. Come again, said some men. But the hungry thing just sat down again, and he pointed to his sign that said, Feed me. What do you want to eat? asked the townspeople. Gollipops, said the hungry thing. 
golly pops, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Oh, dear me, said the wise man. Golly pops are new. They are cereal shaped like toys and sugar coated too. Children, said the cook, buy them by the dozens and trade off the box tops with classmates and cousins. I think, said the boy, you all ought to hear. Golly pops sound like dolly pops sound like lollipops to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up and he pointed to his sign again. Oh, please, said the people, we've been here all day. Isn't there a quicker way? I think, said the boy, that there is. Have some noodles, the little boy asked the hungry thing. The hungry thing shook his head. Oh, excuse me, I meant to say foodles. The hungry thing smiled and ate them all up. Just look, said the cook, let's all, cr let's all try, was the cry. So they all got busy. Have some smello, they gave him some jello. Have some thread, they gave him some bread. Have a banana, they gave him a banana. The hungry thing ate and ate, he looked very full. Is there anything more we can give you? The townspeople wanted to know. The hungry thing politely covered a hiccup. <laughs> he thought for a while, then, Boop with a smacker, he said. Boop with a smacker, boop with a smacker. What is that? The townspeople asked. The boy whispered to the wise man. The wise man whispered to the cook and the cook gave the hungry thing soup with a cracker. The hungry thing ate them all up. He smiled, he got to his feet. He wiped his mouth on the cook's hat. Just as he left, he turned his sign around. In big letters, it said, thank you. The end.